Hey everybody, it's Christy Sanders, your independent Cincy consultant, and this is my son, Sam. We're here today to talk about wax change. So, do you know how often you're supposed to change your wax? So I'm gonna teach you today. Cincy's wax cubes are designed to last about eight to 12 hours. So it kind of depends on how long your warmers are on and how strong that scent is. Um, and that will determine how often you gotta change your wax. So we change our wax around here every Sunday, and then we change it sometimes during the week, depending on the wax and how much we've used that warmer. So I've brought down most of our warmers, um, cause we're gonna show you how we change the wax. So one cube of wax, like I said, lasts eight to 12 hours. Most of, all of these warmers that we have here have two cubes each in them. Now you don't wanna add a fresh cube to old wax because that's just gonna dilute down the new cube and you're not gonna get as much use out of it, okay? And our wax is not gonna evaporate or um, burn away like a candle does. So when it stops smelling good, then you gotta take the wax out and put in some fresh wax, okay? So how do you do that without making a mess? So there's two or three different ways. Um, we're gonna show you our cotton cleanups. Sam, show them what one looks like. <coughs> So this is what a cotton cleanup looks like. It's got this handy little handle on top, okay? And then, then it's just a cotton disc on the bottom. Looks kind of like a hockey puck, all right? Each one of these cotton cleanups will soak up at, at least six cubes worth of wax, okay? So it depends on how much wax you put in your warmers. You know, your mini warmers, sometimes you only put one cube in. But it's very cool how these work. So Sam, why don't you stick one in that first warmer over there? That's our um, warmer of the month for June. So you put your wax, your um, you put your cotton cleanup in that wax, and it soaks it right up in what, maybe two or three seconds. Yep. Okay. So show what that that glass dish is completely empty now. Hold that up, babe. Is it hot? No. Not and really. then and then the cotton the yeah, cotton cleanup. Yeah, the square ones might be a little bit harder. And the then square, I usually like, take... With the square ones, you got to make sure you get the corners. Yeah, got to make sure you get the corners. So here's what it looks like after the cotton cleanup is done. And I will usually wipe it out with a tissue just to make sure you get all that wax and any little residue or oils out if I'm going to change the wax to a different kind. Now, if I'm going to put the same kind in there, then I usually won't go to that much trouble. But see, looks fresh as new. All right, so then we can take that same cotton cleanup and put it in the next warmer. Go ahead and put it in the next one. So that one is our um, our uh, warmer that we had out for, for Memorial Day. And we had, what did we have in there? Uh, apple pie, baked apple yeah, pie was wax was in there. Pie. All right, and there goes the next, the next one. Okay, it smells, does it still smell good? Mm -hmm. And I just wipe it out with a tissue. Sometimes if you use wax that has, um, that has like cinnamon in it, sometimes you'll see a little dark, what almost looks like a stain from the cinnamon. It's just where that, that oil has, um, you didn't completely get it out. If you don't completely get it out with your tissue or your cotton cleanup, you can take a little squirt of um, counter clean and spray that on there and then wipe it out and it'll come right out, okay? All right, next one, same cotton cleanup. This one had, you had vanilla bean buttercream, didn't you? No, that was, I had that one in like a couple of times before. I think this is like the banana nut bread. Oh, that's right. This warmer is one that Sam has in his room, this uh, Tennessee Titans football warmer. And he had the uh, banana nut bread wax in there, okay? So this is, is it soaking it all up? Yep, so this cotton cleanup just soaked up six cubes worth of wax with one cleanup. There you go, now let's wipe off. Just a teeny any. bit left in there. Okay. Now remember our wax melts at just above body temperature, for, so about 99 or 100 degrees. So, um, yeah, so it's not hurting him to touch the the no. warmers. It's warm, but it's not hot. To touch the warmer, to touch the dish. See here, the dish is empty. 
I just did my finger. Isn't that a cute last. little dish in our football warmers? Um, I hate that sound. Oh, Sam didn't like that squeaky sound. Okay, so I wiped it out. Because that was the very last of our banana nut bread wax, wasn't it, Sam? I, I don't think, think so. Oh, you think we got a little bit more? I think I got a little bit more in the bar. The banana nut bread wax was from our Bring Back My Bar collection in January. So here we go. It's ready for new waxes. Okay, so this counter cleanup is, here, let me take it from you. You can hold it by the little handle. It's got six cubes worth of wax in it. It's all contained in that. And I'm just gonna set it over here on, I've got a, like a plastic grocery bag, because it's not gonna melt it, because it's not that warm. But, um, and then we'll throw it away in a few minutes. Or, some people will use those. Um, I've heard that they're good for fire starters for campfires, um, because the cotton in it, um, I don't know if it make your camp smell good or not. I wouldn't think so, because your wax doesn't sm smell anymore. Okay, so we got three more. This one is our, do you wanna do it or do you want me to? Okay. So we got a fresh cotton cleanup. Okay. This is our uh, Desert Darling warmer. And we had, what do I have in here? Kukui and coconut, I think. And it just fits down in there perfect. See? And it just takes a couple seconds. There's our wax. Here's our empty dish. Oop! Don't want to make a mess. And I'll wipe it out with our tissue. It's ready to go. Next. This one is our pearlescent petals warmer. This one is probably my favorite. I had some uh, cactus water and cucumber wax in there. And you can see it soaked it all up. Clean dish. And I still got some left. I'm going to put right here in my rooftop warmer. Wipe that out. Sorry, you don't, Sam doesn't like the squeak. <laughs> All right, so this one's ready for new wax. It's like paper plates rubbing against each other. They're like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, he just didn't like that sound, so I'll try not to make much more noise. So this is two more cubes worth in here. This was the, uh, what do we have in here? Blackberry orange marmalade, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, it's it from our Bring Back My Bar collection right now, and it smells so good. All right, so that is, oh, it's got just a little bit. There we go. Let me wipe that out. Don't listen, Sam. <laughs> My squeaky. This one kind of has a frosted glass dish, so it's all clean, ready to go for our next our next week's waxes. So, um, what else? Anything else? Oh, let me tell you, how do you get these cotton cleanups? So, cotton cleanups come in a set of 25, and they are on our we on our website. This is what they look like. Okay. Cotton cleanups cost $10 for a set of 25, but each one will do three warmers worth if you have two cubes in each warmer. So, let me tell you how I get the best deal on my cotton cleanups. I add a set of cotton cleanups to my Scentsy Club month, order every month. And you know, if you have, oh, that's making a glow on my face, isn't it? That's weird. Um, if you have at least $30 worth of products in your Scentsy Club, you get 10% off. So I get this pack of cotton cleanups for $9 each month. So let me do the math for you. That comes out to be... 36 cents for each one of these, okay? 36 cents. You can also use cotton balls, and it would take three cotton balls for each one for two cubes of wax, okay? So I've done the math for you there too. If you use cotton balls, you can get a 400 count bag of cotton balls at your local store for 378. So that comes out to three cents. A cent, one cent a piece, okay? So to do all of these, that would be uh, 18 cents. But these come out to 36 cents a piece, and we use two. So it's what, 72 cents a piece. So it does cost a little bit more to do the cotton cleanups, but the cotton cleanups are so easy. 
Yeah, but also, like, you can only use, like, three cotton balls for, like, one of them. You can't just, right. like, soak up, like, a whole lot from each Right. Thing. And there's some, there's a certain amount of convenience just to go from warmer to warmer to warmer to warmer. And, um, and then you just either throw these away or keep them for, um, your campfires. Um, but anyway, that's how we change our wax. And so now we've got to decide what all we want in our warmers this week, don't we? You got some ideas? <laughs> we'll pull out our box of, uh, we do have a lot of choices. I want to try maybe some of our Father's, Father's Day waxes this week. Mm -hmm. um, but that's how we change our wax at the Sanders house. We do it every Sunday and then sometimes on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on how long we've been using our, our wax and what we need to do as far as changing it. So that's your tip for the week. If you need any cotton cleanups, you let me know. I do, um, I've got some here at home. I'll let you try one or two and see if you like it. If you want to, before you buy it, just drop me a message or shoot me a text. And, um, um, and then if you want to add cotton cleanups to your orders, the cheapest way to do that is add it to your Scentsy Club and get that 10% off. And, um, and then they come, you don't have to worry about it. You can even set up your Scentsy Club to come every two or three months. And so if you, um, if you don't go through quite as many as we do at my house, you could just get them every two or three months. Um, but that's the way to get the best deal um, for any of your Scentsy products. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, we appreciate you supporting our little bit, our little channel. And if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you'll keep getting um, keep getting uh, notifications whenever we get new pro new videos out. Right? Maybe you guys hit the subscription bell. Is that it? No, subscribe. <laughs> he got us hit the notification notification bell. bell. That's what I'm trying to think of. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Then you'll know when we put out new videos like this one. And then also, if there's videos that you'd like to see, if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below, and we'll see if we can um, we can address those questions for you. And uh, y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.